Hi everybody, it's Hillary. It's late. It's 10.30ish. Almost 10.30. I am so sorry I got distracted and also <laughs> I kind of lost track of the days of the week because I took a couple days off this week and I, anyway, it's late but I have some prayer for us. It's Wednesday, and these prayers are from Daily Prayer for All Seasons, which is a lovely little book. It's got a green cover, originally anyway, put out by the Episcopal Church for prayers for all the seasons, and it goes through the, the office prayers. So there are prayers for different parts of the day. And this is uh, Compline, and it's about trust, that they sort of give different categorizations to each of these. So this is the trust prayer. And I'm going to trust that the reason I didn't do this earlier is because somebody is out there right now who really needed to hear some prayers at this time. And if you're just signing on, I totally lost track of both time and what day of the week it was. I don't know. I guess it's just this thing we're in. It's anyway, that's what happened. But I'm here now with you. And this is trust. And it begins with an opening. Alleluia. This is for the Easter season. Alleluia. May God, who raised Jesus from the dead, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Alleluia. And a prayer. God, you sent your Son into the world that we might live through him. May we abide in his risen life so that we may love one another as he first loved us and know the fullness of joy. Amen. And the song of praise is Psalm 113. Hallelujah, give praise, you servants of God. Praise the name of the Most High. Let God's name be blessed from this time forth forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let God's holy name be praised. Uh-oh. Dash is awake. <laughs> All right, be right back. That was our intermission, so we could get Dash, because he started barking. Now back to the praise, Psalm 113. Alleluia, give praise, you servants of God. Praise the name of the Most High. Let God's name be blessed from this time forth forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let God's holy name be praised. God is high above all nations, and God's glory above the heavens. Who is like our God, who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? God takes up the weak out of the dust, and lifts the poor from the ashes, to set them on high with the rulers of the people. God makes the woman of a childless house be a joyful mother of children. And there is a scripture reading from Hebrews. May the God of peace who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good so that you may do his will, working among us that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. And then there's a meditation piece to this, and this is from G.K. Chesterton. It's just a sentence. A characteristic of the great saints is their power of levity. The angels fly because they can take themselves lightly. How appropriate for tonight. 
as this day closes, what burdens can we lay down? So that's the question for meditation following that reading, a little reading. What burdens can we lay down? The burden of being perfect, totally lay that down. Right, Dash? Absolutely. And then we have some prayers. O God of peace, in our disappointments and in our triumphs, let us rest secure in your loving arms. In our certainty and in our confusion, let all people rest secure in your loving arms. And here the people may add particular intercessions or thanksgivings. And so this is a time where we can pray together and I invite you to type in any prayer requests that you have at this time. <sighs> we give thanks for all those who are working so hard to take care of us, doctors and nurses and all health professionals, all the people who are working hard to bring us food to our stores and working in the stores, all those essential people who put their lives at risk to help others. We give thanks for them and we pray for God's protection for them. Pray for all who are sick, remembering especially those who have the coronavirus, but really any illness. And we pray and give thanks for those who've died, so many today, from corona. We pray for their family and their friends, and all who mourn, all who grieve. Be with us, O oh God, in our grief in our sadness, in the struggle. And in the prayers, there is closing prayer. As we await a new day, let all creation rest secure in your loving arms. And then there is the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And another prayer. All shall be Amen and Alleluia. We shall rest and we shall see. We shall see and we shall know. We shall know and we shall love. We shall love and we shall praise. Behold our end, which is no end. Amen. That was from St. Augustine. And a closing sentence. Alleluia. May God who raised Jesus from the dead grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Alleluia. Well, thank you for joining me in this Wednesday of Easter week for this late night prayer again, because I totally lost track of time and sort of forgot what day of the week it was because I took Monday and Tuesday off, I guess. I don't know. It might just be this world in which we're living. It's a little hard to keep track of the days sometimes. And I, as I mentioned earlier, believe that this was the right time for this prayer tonight. Thank you for being with me. I'm Hillary here in Richmond, Virginia, Church of the Holy Comforter offers these prayer times, and we all pray that we all will be well and have a blessed evening. Good night.